Sometimes it is helpful to get inspired by other advertisers. For example, to check out their funnels on native advertising traffic sources like Tabula and Outbrain to see which ads they are running, what headlines they are using and how the advertorials are look like. The big major traffic sources like Facebook out there have a dedicated spy tool, which is just called the Ads Library. On the Ads Library, you can type in a keyword and see all the ads on Facebook, on Instagram with this keyword, or for example, you can search for your competitor's brand. And TikTok almost have the same. It looks a little bit different there, but also TikTok provides you an ads library. You might know that native ads is a general term, so there is no dedicated native ads traffic source. And unfortunately, the big traffic source like Tabula or Outbrain doesn't have an ads library yet. But there are other spy tools where you can see all the native ads, for example, from a competitor or for a dedicated keyword from all the traffic sources out there. And today I will show you how you can get inspired by those competitor ads if you're using a spy tool like Anstrax today. All right, many people are already familiar with the Facebook ads library. So for example, you can choose here the country. I say now everywhere and I want to show all categories and I don't know, I type in something like um, shaver and let's see what we get. Okay, we get a lot of ads, a lot of, I don't know, uh, cre creepy things, but <laughs> also some, some shavers, maybe this will convince some people to buy that shaver. All right, almost the same we have on TikTok site. Here you can choose a, con a country, for example, now I say the United States, you can choose a category and something like that. But here you see now by the highest CTR, for example, from the last seven days. So that's the, that's the ads with the highest CTR in the past seven days. And you can click on it, see more information. For native, there is something else because maybe you're already familiar with native ads and there is no dedicated native ads traffic source. There are different traffic sources like Taboola and Outbrain. So for example, here on the TikTok ads library, you just see TikTok ads. On the Facebook ads library, you see Facebook ads, Instagram ads and something like that. But you can't spy, for example, just on Taboola ads, just on Outbrain ads. But there are some other ways. For example, we in our agency are using Anstrax. There are, of course, much more ad spy software tools for native ads, but for us, the best fit is Anstrax. And here's important for you, if you want to get more information about Anstrax, there are different products for different types of traffic. There's Anstrax native, which is relevant for us and for this video today. But of course, there's also Anstrax push, which is for push ads, for drop shipping, and for pop ads. But as I mentioned before, for us relevant is here Anstrax native and you already see here the pricing which starts around about 70 bucks a month, which is a bit pricey of course, especially if you want to start. But, um, okay, pricing isn't opening here. Um, but you see really almost every ad here and if you want to scale native ads, it's something very usable. But let's jump into it. You see here, you see from almost every ad network from 27 here in this case, the the ads, for example, from Taboola, from Outrun, from Yahoo, Gemini, from Rev Content and something like that. So just type in a keyword and see more information. You can rip everything. And I would suggest to jump into it that you can see how it looks in real life. All right, I'm now logged in here with my user and you see something a little bit weird things, but let's start it from the, from the beginning. I search now for a topic like skin, which is a very broad topic. And first of all, let's start here with this part. You see here the ads already, you see the picture, the headline, the brand, the ad network at the country where it's running and maybe you see the the technology behind of it you see here there are a lot of ads running and this filter or this search itself is, is not very useful for you you have to set filters but just to see you see here a lot of things and for example if you say hey this is something interesting for me you can click on it and what you see then is you see for example if you click on visit page 
you see the landing page, okay, that's it's not an advertorial or something like that, that's a branding page, but of course there are a lot of advertorials behind it, where you can, which you can, which you can rip and something like that. So, okay, that's an arbitrage thing. But I think you, you already get it. But let's dive a little bit deeper into it because just the ad here itself is not very useful for you. As I mentioned before, for example, here, that's the date uh, where, where the ad was first seen and the date where the ad was last seen, but you didn't see something, some some KPIs or, or, or anything else. For example, here on TikTok, which I think is extremely usable, you see here the KPIs, you see the highest CTR, you can select the six seconds view rate or the reach, so you can sort the videos with the highest reach for last seven days, for the last 30 days on TikTok. So you can sort after some KPIs. Of course, you didn't see how much they spent or something like that, but you can sort through KPIs, which unfortunately is not possible here on Anstrax or on any similar software for native ads. But um, you can select some filters. For example, if an ad is running more than 10 days, it should be, or more than three weeks, then it should be profitable because no normal media buyer let run an unprofitable ad more than three weeks. Maybe just a completely crazy one. All right, the next filter is the ad strange, which is an internal ad strux filter and which should show you how strong the ad is. And as higher the value is as strong as the ad. Let's jump into it. For example, this is a clip ad, which you can see here and click on the page. Now you see here, that's an editorial, which look pretty, pretty okay, to be honest, which is very short where you can play a video here after the video, I'm pretty sure you can purchase something, buy something or something like that. And you see it run from April 1st to May the 6th. And you also see here that it's a lot of work to get the right offer it's because there are a lot of offers which are old, uh, which are on the wrong ad uh, network and something like that. Because, for example, it doesn't make sense for you if you watch out for something which is AdSense arbitrage or so on because they're, they're not running on KPIs or they're not running on some CPA-based models. But if you want to learn more about arbitrage, by the way, I also have a video here on YouTube which tell you more about arbitrage and why the ads from arbitrage are looking so scammy. But of course you have also more filter options. So first of all, reset it all and then try this one here. You can here search for the creative text, for the translated text, for a landing page URL, for domain, for publisher domain and many, many more. For example, if you have a competitor you can also search for the competitor brand. You can search for the domain name, for the publisher domain. So you have a lot of opportunities there to search and spy on some different ad, um, ads. So for example, if you already know some competitors and we do it in our agency, we search for the names, we search for the domains and try to find out what they are running. So I search now for a German topic just to show you a little bit more. And for example, this is a very shocking headline, which is arbitrage. But of course, there is a lot of more information out here. And here again, you can see how long the ad is running. For example, here we have five days and which should be legit. And yeah, this is a typical editorial with, <laughs> which is of course a branded editorial but which is pretty decent, we can purchase the product. And of course you can rip the landing page, which you have to clarify if it is allowed in your country and something like that. But that's not a legal advice, which I can give you. I just can give you what's the best practice out there. So of course you can copy some parts of the landing page or whatever you want, but you can see the landing page, which is a very great value, especially with the information how long the ad is already running. So for example, if you see it's running more days, it's it could be a good fit, it could be profitable, but if you see it's just one, one day, it's, it's not very useful to just copy it. That's just a quick information how you can use spy tools like Anstrax 
for native ads to spy on competitors, to get new ideas, how to search something or to generate editorials, to generate your ads and something like that. As I mentioned before, there are a lot of tools we are using Antswerks in our agency. I put you an affiliate link in the description below. It would be extremely happy if you purchased Antswerks or started a trial version of Antswerks from this version. If not, just Google Antswerks and you'll find it. Important for you is just to know, please um, check out that you're going for Antswerks native because there are more software tools from Antswerks for different kind of ads. And here on Anstrex, I could make a video which is two hours just about Anstrex because it's a very huge tool. We can see we can filter a lot of things. We can um, filter for networks, for trackers and extremely over technical overload. But I think it's way too much for this quick video because in this quick video, I just want to show you which possibilities to, you have to spy on competitor ads or to get new ideas for your product or services. I hope you liked the video about Anstrex and I would extremely appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel to get notified when I'm uploading a new video about native advertising. See you next time.